So this next question, I mm-hmm. got a lot to say about this. Right. You work with a lot of addictive songs, such as mm-hmm. Yuri's Chiri Chiri Bang Bang, mm-hmm. EXO, Love Me Right, of mm-hmm. course, Sundu mm-hmm. and Shiny's mm-hmm. Lucifer. Lucifer. Yeah, what kind of effort do you put to have these brilliant ideas? I mean, it was kind of random, right? Mm. Yeah? Why we, yeah. why we like writing song? Yeah. We don't, um, we don't like really think something else. Mm-hmm. Like I remember, like Lucifer, mm-hmm. Youngjin Isanim. Mm-hmm. Was helping a lot of like line, right? Mm-hmm. Basically, he he writing most of our melody line, but we throwing the uh, hook, right? Even Chiri Chiri Bang Bang, oh, I man, so many stories. But yeah. you know, while we working the song, I was just uh, closing my eyes and like drawing the stage mm-hmm. music video, mm-hmm. you know. And um, like Chiri Chiri Bang Bang was thinking about like met like a lot of like dancers and you know. So I kind of while, while we present the song, mm-hmm. we kind of explain to them as mm-hmm. well. And hey, I, I want like video is like this, like that, and I want to like, have some fire truck in the behind of her, and like I want to like dance together. Mm-hmm. But uh, so we not like I don't. I never asked them. Hey, you gotta do this. Mm-hmm. You gotta do that. But mm-hmm. you know, one, once we while we making the song, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure you understand mm-hmm. what I'm coming mm-hmm. from, right? Because like we just image, imaging, imaging mm-hmm. those are vibe, like pictures, mm-hmm. and stage, and mm-hmm. music video scenes, mm-hmm. and this, this, that, right? So when we creating it, we always aiming. I would say it's like a tailor made, mm-hmm. right? So we try to customize it. Mm-hmm. But since now these days, there's so many writers and producers and like submitting right. the song mm-hmm. and those type of stuff is like a standard music. Mm-hmm. And then we just picking up a couple of stuff mm-hmm. and tweaking it, right. like fixing. It. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I like this line better, mm-hmm. but I like this track better. And why don't you change the kick? Why don't mm-hmm. you change the bass line? Mm-hmm. Or like make you we make this melody a little bit faster. Mm-hmm. This, that, that, right? Um, so again, your music is uh, sometimes we customizing the song, mm-hmm. but sometimes we refreshing the song. Mm-hmm. I'll say so that's how we process it. And EXO let me write was a customized, hundred mm-hmm. percent customized. Mm-hmm. I took about almost a month to mm-hmm. finish the song. Right. Chiri Chiri Bang Bang was um, I flew out to Ohio to 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 uh, writing the yeah. finishing the line with the song right. Like because of uh he could he, my friend Antoine Frost mm-hmm. he Frost was couldn't uh, have a money mm-hmm. you know money to come fly out to uh, New York mm-hmm. so I just went down there and mm-hmm. just writing together like Lucifer mm-hmm. was actually I came to Korea because of the song I fly back to US mm-hmm. with Adam Capit and we writing the track together mm-hmm. we sit down like, trust me we put so much time on those three songs since mm-hmm. you mentioned it. So. Mm-hmm. Memorable song too. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not just these three songs that mm. you put so much effort and times and all that, but mm. I can tell that every songs are not didn't just happen randomly. It uh-uh. was really thoroughly calculated mm. and really, I don't know. I say really mm, carved like mm. a jewel, I guess. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm. So it's not just a random stuff that just right. pops in your mind. Everything mm-hmm. is yeah through a always, very thorough calculates yeah. calculating and yeah. measuring it and mm-hmm. put everything like perfectly mm-hmm. fit not for the label mm-hmm. for the fans mm-hmm. you know? and of music, course you know? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Love Me Right is a great <laughs> song but I would like to take a little moment to speak about Lucifer because <laughs> this one is my favorite so far because I have this TV show it's not a TV show actually it's um app called App Yegihetudeo app called Netflix mm-hmm. and there's a show called oh, Lucifer, Lucifer. Yeah, yeah, yeah did you yeah. know that song was on Lucifer and yeah I believe it was like season four is episode three or something like that and when the karaoke when the Luc- yeah, fighting scene right right I saw oh, it, you, you I, saw saw it. it. Yeah, I saw it like someone someone like text me hey 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 music is on uh Lucifer like yeah. the miniseries Lucifer. yeah what do you mean I never licensed I never uh confirmed with that license really? but they already did it I was like <laughs> oh okay you know <laughs> I was so shocked. Too. I mean, that that show is huge. So mm. I thought you were shocked to hear that news. But the first thing that popped in your mind was the copyright thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who yeah. used the song? Yeah, Netflix. I oh, mean, did shit. you did you contact with them though? Yeah. Actually, my uh, yeah. publisher was handling it. Oh, without, really? They were telling me, but yeah, well, that's fine, you know. Right, right, right. I mean, I was such a huge fan of that <laughs> song. So, yeah, and. Fan of that song, fan of that show, and those two combined together to create a perfect figure. And the reason I dressed up like this today mm-hmm. is because of Lucifer. He usually dress yeah. up in his <laughs> black suit and stuff like that. So, I mean, but always yeah. like once once everybody mm-hmm. mentioned about shining Lucifer, mm-hmm. I always like appreciate to um, mm-hmm. 
Yuyang Jin Isa Nim, right. the producer mm. of SM, because he without him mm -hmm. that song couldn't born. Yeah. Because he's the finishing all the melody line and he's just customizing mm -hmm. for Shiny. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, now um, the song got really uh, stay as a legendary song, but mm -hmm. you know, again, Yuyang Jin Isa Nim did most right. of the stuff for us. Yeah. All right. Because I was nobody. Mm. <laughs> This next question is kind of similar to what I've just asked you. Mm -hmm. In addition to the title song, you have also worked on a lot of masterpiece of K-pop. One of this year's great songs that you had participated in is Oh My Girl's Dolphin. Not Dolphin. So it, was a, <laughs> it wasn't a title song, but turns mm. out this song gained much more love, mm. even mm. causing a syndrome. Right. So among the songs you worked on, is there other B-side tracks that you thought it would have been a title song? Mm. So it was a... Uh... Like similar to Dolphin, mm -hmm. I would say EXO, Peter Pan, mm -hmm. Trauma, mm -hmm. and like, you know, You Are mm -hmm. uh, Far. Mm -hmm. so that, I wish that song get took off later, you know, yeah. one day, you yeah. know, I wish, you know. <laughs> so those three songs are my uh, favorite as a single material song. Mm -hmm. And which is, uh, Chakanin was mentioned mm -hmm. about the Peter Pan, but mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of, lot of, like, a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. EXO fan was mentioned about Peter Pan. I mm -hmm. didn't know that much famous in yeah. the song. I gotta actually... Look at her, look I, at her. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> right. I mean, I actually have a question about um, participating in an album mm -hmm. as a producer on a B-side track, mm -hmm. participating on an album as a producer on a title track. Mm -hmm. What would be the major difference between these two? Uh, um, what is the biggest difference between participating on an album on a B-side track Album or song. on a title track? Like, what's the biggest difference between them? I mean, you know, like, like it's like this, yeah. right? A lot of producers and uh, writers, and they are, I'm pretty sure, me too, right? Mm -hmm. we, we are aiming for become this song as a, like, single, mm -hmm. like, title song. Mm -hmm. But since, since, I don't really care yeah? whether this song become, like, single or filler, mm -hmm. because, um, I uh, I was kind of shocked that a lot of uh, K-pop fans mm -hmm. and like foreigner, like outside of Korea fans, and they love those uh, album songs too, right? So we always focusing to making song as a title single mm -hmm. material song. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was kind of like sad that. I asked Yisanim from mm -hmm. WM Entertainment and mm -hmm. asked Yisanim, hey, Yisanim, please, Dolphin, it's just a single, please, you know, like, this song's gonna be like, it's gonna be good, you know. Mm -hmm. so said, oh, yeah, we have another, like, single. So I, I heard it with the Halchak Sule song. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good too. Right. Like, the vibe wise mm -hmm. was kind of like single material. Mm -hmm. But the Dolphin, we put, like, Chloe, mm -hmm. uh, she's from uh, Finland, right? So Finland, like writer, and she write it. And we, when we mentioned about it, like trust me, like it's it's kind of funny that I'm always producer ask me, like uh, writers ask me, mm -hmm. is this single? I'm like, oh, unfortunately, no. But you know, like let's, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, who cares about the single? Right? Mm -hmm. That's why I tell them. But uh, yeah, like writers and producers, we always making deliver the song mm -hmm. as a single. Mm -hmm. So after we release the song. We always have with the like feedback, right? Top girl oh, right. in the music chart. Yeah, man, like you don't get channel, like oh title for the ego. Ah. Yeah, that's right. You know? Thanks. Right, right, right. And I, like to why you know? Mm. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> so it is not up to the producers or mm. track makers or top liners or otherwise who participate in the right. process of making music that this certain track is gonna be a B side track or a title track or a single track, right? You never yeah. know, but yeah. we always like ask them uh, like uh Recommendation mm -hmm. to the label, mm -hmm. Happy Ninder, or like Isan in the right. hey, uh, I highly, mm -hmm. you know, strongly like recommend this song as a single. Mm -hmm. If you know you it, you know what? Let me just pull out the song. If they say, okay, then yeah, that's not what I mean. Just use it. Uh -huh. you know? I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> right, 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 you know? Right. <laughs> so again, there's so many like episodes like mm -hmm. that. But trust, uh, seriously, like we don't really focus on focusing on our song as a like single or filler, whatever, because, um, Music never get old, right? right. So, like, basically, we deliver how do you call it? Like, mm -hmm. or entire like world yeah. fan, right? So, yeah, that that that's how we. So his only purpose in making music is to give joy to all the audiences who listen to the music. Then, right. yeah, right. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, so among all those joyful moments or other or another mm. term I say mm. tracks, mm. it's time we choose right. the best K-pop top three of 2020. 2020? Yeah. Yeah, um to me, like I have a look at this. I have um like You got a list, right? I look, I don't know if you guys are looking at this. <laughs> I have a five music streaming service, right? Like flow because of the audio quality or no? Cause yeah. like I wanna I wanna double check, yeah. triple check what's hot, what's good, you mm -hmm. know what's what's make me inspired. Mm -hmm. So every day I listen to the songs and um, well, top three to me was um, I, I'm pretty sure everybody knows mm -hmm. BTS Dynamite. Right, uh, that's my favorite song too because uh, I have a disco in me. I, I personally my favorite song mm -hmm. is disco is hip hop, right, and. Number one was um, uh, BTS Dynamite, and number two is a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, love sick girl in the case of love sick, <laughs> so it's like number two is a uh, Blackpink mm. love sick girl, mm -hmm. and that's uh, remind me of uh, like Icona Pop, right? Mm -hmm. They kind of like refreshing those mm -hmm. vibe, right? It's like a singing choir vibe, mm -hmm. right? And number three is um. My my personal right. favorite was like of dolphin. course oh dolphin. my god dolphin yeah. that 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 you know <laughs> so those top three is to me like twenty twenty like top th to me not mm. not not like I'm not judging it right mm. don't get me wrong right, I did, right, but right. yeah that top three uh, for Ryan's favorite was mm -hmm. dynamite Ryan's favorite list in twenty twenty and yeah. dolphin right <laughs> so the first one is BTS dynamite the mm -hmm. second one Blackpink's um lovesick girls. It's in plural, so yeah. yeah. Loves it, girls. And the third one is Oh My Girls, Dolphins. Right. So, among those three groups that you mentioned, mm -hmm. I mean, mm, I can't. I think people, a lot of people, can relate to why you picked those three because those three groups are I believe what I at least I believe that they've showed their character more clearer than any other groups that were released in Korea in twenty twenty. So I mean, they got their own styles, right? Mm. BTS, like mm. um, more artist-ish, I say. Mm -hmm. And Blackpink, I don't know, they are on the top of mm -hmm. hip line, I guess. Mm. Yeah. And oh my girl, they got their own vibe. I mean, I can't recognize them from any other girl groups in Korea because they got their own fresh, young kind of vibe in it. Like, right. Yeah. They they, they mm. start having mm -hmm. their uh, own color. Mm -hmm. I'll say. Like ident identity yeah. wise, yeah. like BTS already right. like settled. Mm -hmm. Blackpink is they already have their mm -hmm. own style, mm -hmm. but oh my girls is start like set how do you call it start set settle their mm -hmm. vibe, right? Mm -hmm. But you know like charming, mm -hmm. cute, right? And, uh, like like a no, oh my girl to me is like some sort of a novel. Mm -hmm. Like they have a story, right, 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 right. A fantasy mm -hmm. storyline. So that's why this is a good vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still like working on like their. I try to give them a demo too. I heard that their yeah. their album is coming out next year, so mm -hmm. I'm working on that. Right? right. So the reason I put out this identity character mm -hmm. issue is because if you want to release a group or if you are producing for a group, you need to know their identity and know their character and know what they're what they are aiming for. Mm -hmm. So, um, as a producer and a CEO, mm -hmm. what would you <laughs> think? I mean. What do you think the current status in K-pop and how the K-pop should move on in the future? I mean, again, we, we like as a listener, yeah. I always like when when I ask uh, or uh, request to my uh, writers and producers, mm -hmm. and you know, always ask them. You, we need to deliver what client wants. Mm -hmm. so now, like client, you mean label? No, the audience to right? you, yeah. to your family. Mm -hmm. To your sister, mm -hmm. to your daughter, or to your friend, mm -hmm. because um, clients is end of the day client is um like listener. Mm -hmm. So we have to focusing on listener side, mm -hmm. right? So in the future, the music is um, I'm you know like I listen to like worldwide uh, world music too, right? Like mm -hmm. you know my these days my favorite is uh, Indian Bollywood, mm -hmm. right? And um like. Spanish music mm -hmm. and like you know old school mm -hmm. and always get you know inspired mm -hmm. from that song I, I'm, I'm writing try to writing like Bollywood style mm -hmm. like K-pop these days right try to remake it again you know food 
you don't have any specific standard like ingredient you can just tweak it right right so always like talk when i had an interview always talk uh the, the the music as a food right mm -hmm. like you, you need to like like a chef mm -hmm. you gotta tweak it you gotta mm -hmm. make your own style like this this that but you know these days the the vibe is a gyeonggyeseon is like getting like smaller at uh, closer and closer mm -hmm. so the k-pop is a one of a sound you know mm -hmm. on the like entire like different mm -hmm. uh, music style mm -hmm. but you know like to me in 10 years the world fans gonna like gathering together with certain music uh, style mm -hmm. like me like it's like this let's put it this way k-pop is going to be part of a song okay. you know yep. genre, mm. genre, right? mm. genre yeah. you know yeah, it's going to be like part of a song right. and uh i'll say like if i'm not wrong it's part of a major so we're down to two more questions can you give us, uh, speaking of the ones who just started his career, um, can you give them any advice, some sort advice? of advice or something? As a, as a young, as yeah. a oppa, as a friend, you know, um, mm. please don't give up easy. There's right. uh, nothing impossible in this world, mm. right? So you guys need to follow your heart. And uh, again, what Samuel said, right? right? Do, or, do die. or die. <laughs> do or die. That's the strategy <laughs> to become your success, to become your, uh, your dreams come true. Mm -hmm. so please don't give up that easy. Right. And, uh, these, day, these days, and a lot of the teenagers and youngsters um, give up too early. Mm -hmm. But don't give up. If you if you like fall down, mm -hmm. like you know, cut all again, you know, <laughs> like run again, walk again. Mm -hmm. You got to do it over and over again. And mm -hmm. uh, one day, some energy will give you guys a... Uh, how do you call it? Give you guys a... Uh, <laughs> you, uh, if you keep trying and trying, mm -hmm. and the, 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 the luck or um, your your efforts is going to like make Pay you guys... Off, right? like, yeah. Make you guys like, yeah. you know, shine. You mm -hmm. know? Right. Please don't give up. Do or die. Do or die. Don't <laughs> give up. Yeah. Hopefully, next year things will get better. And mm. if things get better, what is your 2021 as a K pop producer? As a producer, mm. we still like my my idea and my strategy never changed mm -hmm. since when I started. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to do our, our best mm -hmm. to deliver good song right. to the fans. And that's why we are trying every single one even just now like we i had a call right. like from sm entertainment you know having lead to mm -hmm. writing songs so make sure uh so far right. um if i charange, like frag a <laughs> little bit about over 60 songs is a uh, reserve right and we're gonna come out like soon because like we have a certain amount of a song annually yeah so, like i don't have enough uh step to spreading the mm -hmm. song all over the place but right. because i want to like customizing yeah. the song so i could handle at least like 20 to 30 songs a year but now next year we are um <laughs> next year uh <laughs> 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 yeah about uh, about six songs is reserved right now that's our target and um goal and also we try to deliver the best song to uh, to the artists, to fans, and you guys have stay tuned, and uh, that's our uh, mission for next year to try to deliver best song ever from Market Entertainment and right. or uh, ATM Entertainment mm -hmm. or Music you know, mm -hmm. publishing company, right? So we 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 do our best to deliver the best song for you guys, uh, you guys, you know, because uh, the reason why we really focus on a good song one by one, right? Because uh, music is a part of your life. Right. Music is a part of your culture. Mm -hmm. Right. Music is music is part of your living style. I'll mm -hmm. say. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why we want to get you guys like best material. Mm -hmm. You know. So that that's our uh, twenty twenty one goal goal and right. mission. You know. Mm -hmm. That's mission right now. It's not goal. It's like a mm -hmm. mission. You know? Right. I mean, the 2020 hasn't ended yet, and he already has 60 songs reserved for 2021. And mm -hmm. he claims that all of those 60 
I don't know, somewhere around the number of 60. Yeah, it could be 59, 51 or something like that. But mm. still, those songs are going to be great. So expect to hear more from him. And thank you so much for sharing your mm. precious time with us today. I really yeah. appreciate your time mm -hmm. today. And 감사합니다. Mm -hmm. like, step through, 감사하고. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we keep in touch. And we, yeah! please, right. if you guys have some other stuff, please right. invite me, Chakdanim. And please invite me soon. <laughs> and we got to do one more thing. Yeah. Do you know the name of this segment? Segment? Yeah, this show. Do you know the name of this show? It's called Oh My K-Pop. Oh My K-Pop. Yep. Right, and, right, right. And for the outro, we are gonna shout out Oh My I, Oh My K-Pop together. And it goes like, Oh My K-Pop. Like, okay. Yeah. You gotta do it like this? Uh, or, you yeah. don't have to do with this. Like this? Still... <laughs> 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 K, K, <laughs> I don't know, probably like this. Or <laughs> but still. Um, yeah. Oh, how about we wrap up like this? Slating? Okay. Oh my K pop. Yeah, like oh my K pop. Thank you so much for watching. And this was Oh my K pop with Ready? Ryan John. Oh, like this. Okay. Yeah. Ready? All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, This was Oh my K pop, the first episode ever. And thank you so much for spending time with us, Ryan. And this was, we were Oh my K pop. K -pop.